So today's the day. Brittany's book is out, and um, she spared very few from her <laughs> oh, anger. There was one person who was spared, which is interesting. Sam Asgari. We'll get, we'll get, to get that. into it in a minute. But Christina Aguilera, Justin Timberlake, not so much. Yeah, they got it right between the eyes uh, because. One of the things that Britney complains about, and there are several in the book, but one of the things she really is holding on to is a 2003 Rolling Stone cover. That cover right there with um, Justin Christina and Christina. Aguilera. Yeah, and they were they did this cover story with Rolling Stone to promote their tour that was going on that year. Obviously, Justin had just started his solo career and went we out on tour with we Christina. We should say this is 2003. So it's the so year it's after. the year after they broke up. Brittany and Justin broke up. Right, and clearly it did not land well with Brittany. Here's what she says in the book. Uh, they were together on the cover of Rolling Stone, him in a black tank top, looking at her with sexy eyes. Her looking, am I supposed to do this with a straight face? Yeah, do it with a straight her, face. <laughs> her looking out at the camera, wearing a lace-up black shirt, in that story, she said she thought Justin and I should get back together, which was just confusing, given how negative she'd been elsewhere. Even if they weren't trying to be cruel, it felt like they were just pouring salt in the wound. Why was it so easy for everyone to forget that I was a human being, vulnerable enough that these headlines could leave a bruise? So what she's saying is they shouldn't have been on the cover of Rolling Stone. And they shouldn't have promoted their tour. Maybe she's saying they shouldn't have gone on tour together, but a lot of fans, and you know that Britney has a very loyal legion of fans, <laughs> but a lot of them are saying, come on, get over yourself. But, um, but you know what's really interesting about this? So fans are saying that because say, they like Justin and they like Christina. It's probably Christina. Christina has very loyal fans also who are probably, and right. they're like, come on, what, what are they supposed to do? They're artists who, and there, a lot of people are pointing out that no, we're they not were gonna, friends also, by well, the way. Well, also, they were broken up. Just, uh, Justin and Brittany were broken up. This is business, putting them this on the cover. This is business, and by the way, business. and they are friends also. Christina did an interview not that long ago. She was asked about Britney's book, if she was kind of worried that maybe Britney would say something about her, and she's like, well, like, I hope I'm not in it. I hope we're good, kind of thing, but everyone saw this coming because there has been, like, some weird tension between them throughout the years. It's really interesting she said that. I hope I'm not in it. Because she is laying out a lot of grievances in this book. And I know people have grievances in their lifetime and whatnot. But, you know, she goes after a family. She goes after Christina. She goes after Justin really hard. She goes after the stupid snake from the VMAs. The snake hissed at her. <laughs> from the VMA performance, she said that the snake, she thought the snake was going to attack her in the middle. Now, she says that somehow the cameras missed this, but that we didn't see the moment the snake looked her in the eyes, hissed, and stuck out its tongue. And she, at that point, said that she was terrified it was going to attack her. And that's when she, shortly thereafter, then hands it to someone else. So let's talk about the one person who dodged a bullet here, which is Sam Asghari, her estranged husband, soon to be divorced husband. Um, you would have thought, because Brittany, um, was able to re-edit at the very end after Sam left her. And so a lot of people, myself included, mm -hmm. thought that she might revise some of what she was saying might about say the marriage. something about the split or, or just take him out altogether. Well, because we knew it was a very acrimonious split. Um, he, w w look, we, we have told you about this before, that he says she had gotten physical with him before, even injured him. Um, they had screaming matches all the time, so you thought some of that would be in there. It is the opposite. Oh, no. She gave him a glowing review, you guys. In fact, she even called him a gift from God and credited him with giving her the courage to speak out about the conservatorship because, remember, when they first linked up, it was in 2016, he was one of, like, the actors in her slumber party music video. That's how they met. She said she was immediately smitten with him, and he was there by her side when she was getting out of this conservatorship and really really, uh, you know, said that it was because of him that she was able to finally speak out, speak her truth. Um, but yeah, as you said, Harvey, like we know this was kind of a nasty divorce. So it, it kind of points to maybe some settlement oh, yeah. or like getting close to some they, settlement. I think this means that they have worked out whatever their differences And are. there is some non-disparagement clause because remember when we got him 100%. a couple weeks ago, 100%. he said glowing things. 100%. Yeah.
Uh, my name is Janelle Vanoy. I'm in Albuquerque, New Mexico. And look, Britney Spears is spilling all the tea because she hasn't been able to since she was in the spotlight. And the whole thing with Sam is because he protected her. Even though they had a lot of fights and they had a lot of bad things happen behind the scenes, at the end of the day, when you look around, Sam was the only one there for her, no matter what she was going through. And he stood by her that entire time. So I expect that. Honestly, I didn't expect her to talk about any of that stuff. And on top of that, people got to stop sharing everything in the book. Because I'm like, I want to read it now, but you're telling so much. Well, it ain't, just, it ain't just us. It's been everywhere. Yeah, so everyone's talking about it.